Hello and welcome to another video from Rainbow Six. I haven't uploaded any Rainbow Six videos for a while. And I just want to tell you now, just as we get through here, the enemy throws a grenade. And I don't know what the in-game speak button was. It wasn't working. Something to do with you play. And one of our teammates here goes flying. Quite amusing. Yes, we're back in Rainbow Six. And this is some terrorist hunt. And let's watch this guy go flying. <laughs> and he bashed his head on the wall as well. Yeah, Terrorist Hunt is a game mode against the AI. And our objective is we have this pickup, as you can see. One of our teammates has just died. We have the pickup and we have to plant this on two bombs. And once this is planted, we have to defend the area until the bomb is defused or the bomb goes off, vice versa. And as you can see, we're already down to three players. I'm playing this very cautiously and I tend to stick with my teammates. I know there's an enemy in there, so I'm contemplating whether I should go in or not. And uh, I'm going to fire this, which is one of the unlocks for this character. There are lots of characters with different weapons and specialities in this game, which is another thing that really does make this game stand out from everything else. Now, there is some DLC and there are new weapons and two new characters. Unfortunately, I haven't bought the DLC as yet because I want to get more out of the main game because there are still a couple of characters I haven't unlocked. And we're playing on the hard difficulty. So the enemy will flank you. They're really quite good in this game. And death comes very easily indeed. This is a very dangerous position to be on these steps. Now, it's best to stick with the guy who's carrying the diffuser, which is this guy here. So the other guy who's run up there on his own, utterly pointless. And I'm fully aware now that I need to watch my back. See, the guy upstairs on his own is down, which means we're going to risk our lives now trying to save this guy, when really we should have been staying together. I know there's an enemy down there, so I'm just going to put some blind fire into the smoke and put another smoke up. So meaning we can move in and get this guy back up because three is better than just the two of us trying to take this on especially when it comes to the end game and the diffuser fortunately for us or should i say unfortunately for him we didn't actually get to him in time because there were too many enemies in this location and if we all stuck together the chances of him being still in this game would have been increased vastly Friendly fire is on, so you've really got to watch your fire. And part of the charm of this game is the destruction. Walls can be blown up. These barricaded walls can be blown down by uh, one of the other classes who puts uh, thermite on the wall, etc, etc. So each one has your own speciality. And as we refill here, and he starts to ham shank by the looks of it, and he puts the diffuser down, it's just a matter of us trying to hold off until that's exploded, and then just the two of us will move off to the next one. Diffuser in position. Defend it from enemy action. Where we go, the enemy are going to make their counter attack, and this is where two of you. Not the easiest thing to hold off, to be honest with you. And there we go. Enemy with a shield took me out. And that's how easily death comes. Love the destruction and everything else in this game. If you haven't got the game, get it. You will love it. The multiplayer aspect of it, uh, PvP, is just as good. And it's just as satisfying when you get the kill. Thanks for watching. I've been Paraplayers. And this has been Rainbow Six with me getting my ass kicked royally. I hope you enjoyed this video. Go get it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.